Catholic, so I recognized all of that. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you. Uh, welcome and thank you for tuning in to Grand Radio, located at Grand Records in the one for Orange County, California. Woo, 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 yeah. Yeah. And uh, speaking of Orange County, we are winners of OC Weekly's Best Podcast yes. Award for 2018 and are awesome. the home yeah. of OC yeah. Weekly. Yeah. Oh, That's right. Our, our mission is... Our mission is to expand your music horizon. Mm. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Mm. Leading, <laughs> <our squad laughs> it 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 yeah. Leading our squad today is the man you all know and love. It's Emo Aladdin. Hi. Emo. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. My, Yo. My, I got my brother, got my cousin, got my new family right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. And sitting next to him, well, you already said it. It's your brother, my Sorry. cousin. Uh, it's our digital marketing master, oh. Hazem Aladdin. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> and uh, completing our unholy trilogy. Tr- <clears throat> and comp- <laughs> this is why I'm the editor. It's because I fuck up a lot and I can just cut all this out. <laughs> and completing our unholy trinity is myself, Alex Ellis Brion. Today, yeah, we are so excited to welcome to the studio Southern California metal band Augmented. Yeah! 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 Yes! yes, it's so exciting to have you guys in here. Seriously, awesome. yeah, you guys sound awesome. Man. Sound check was fantastic. We got to cool. hear how loud you guys are. Love it. All right. I mean, you guys came in and you, you know you tuned you know you turned up just just in a respectable level. And right. You said just let it go, dude. Only three wins. Windows broke. <laughs> Holy moly. It's a new record almost, for us. Almost. Like there are papers flying and everything, man. <laughs> Do you guys prefer it that loud or can you really deal with like a situation where you have to turn it down just a little bit? Only when we're trying to take into consideration Augie's voice. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. It, it, uh, it all did, yeah. Cause sometimes, when we're, sometimes when we're out at different places that we've played, you know, it, it, depending on the strength of the PA. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes I'll even look at the guy and go, hey, man, you know, kind of just. Tune down. up to the drums. <laughs> right. <laughs> it all depends on the he's drums. Not mic'd, yeah. Right. You know? And I gotta sing out of this piece of shit PA, so <laughs> <laughs> Right. Let's deal. I'll take well, it easy, uh, you know? Real quick, can but, you guys um, introduce yourselves individually yeah. and just say what part of the band you are? Hi, I'm Jay Patrick McCosar. I'm the lead guitar player. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Chris Chapman, bass player. Yeah. yeah. Augie Madrigal, lead vocalist. Oh, yeah, Augie. Dave Manker, accordion and drums. Dave! Sweet, <laughs> accordion and drums. Because <laughs> I, I want to like, accordion. <laughs> skin flute, too. Guys, yeah. 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 there's yeah. always a skin band. flute player in the band. Yeah. Yeah. Just there's always one. There's yeah. always one. You know, Dude, the bass player showed up. Mariachi Good job. The bass player rarely shows up. If there's anyone that doesn't show up, it's the bass player. That's very true. Really? No. Yeah, we've seen this. It's happened It's kind of a running joke at Grand Radio. We've had like 33, 34 bands. The ones that don't show up are the best. He's a classically trained guitarist. Oh, oh that's, all right. that's different. So that's, so that's the, the he's not a real bass player of a bass <laughs> of a bass player. But he so. understands the melodies. He's that's actually a so musician, good. Right? Basically, yeah, yeah. 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 real, real. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Two, How do you guys two out of four, man? Because you're the only uh, rhythm and melody section instrumentalist. So how do you yeah. guys map out what you guys do as a you know as those soul two? Um, you know what? Really, it it seems like it comes down to us listening to Dave, the drummer. Huh? <laughs> like seriously, and then we, we sync up <laughs> based off of um, the music what that we already doing. have. On, yeah, what no he's kidding. doing. Yeah, based That's, on the beat wow. that he plays. Yeah. yeah, these guys are synced up because there's runs that he does. Tom uh, accommodations to certain scale runs on the bass. And, yeah, yeah. And so they're kind of riding together, and he's just flying over that. 
It's yeah. amazing, man. It's so cool. And then, so is that the process? You come up with a beat, and then you write something over it, or do you write something over it, and then he writes the beat, and then you kind of adjust to the beat, or what's it's, the? It's more of the story that's just dropped in the middle of the band. I story, say, hey, like lyrically. Here's the yeah. yep, and this <gasps> really? is the theme, and this is the music. So that's what starts it. And that's uh, so cool. Yeah, a, a lot wow. of the music. I've only been with the band for about seven months now. Okay. And so a lot of this music was all. That's why written. you're here. <laughs> a year from now, you're yeah. here. You're yeah. the yeah. I don't like it fired. Right. Right. A year mark, yeah. he's done. A yeah. new so, bass. So player. a lot of this music was written, but when I heard it, I'm thinking, okay, I like this line better. Yeah. <laughs> and then if he tells me no, then. But what's I the say, ratio? Never mind, I'll play Most of your ideas pretty much work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I figured as much. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's jumped into the pocket real quick. So yeah. cool, man. Yeah. So cool. As long as you, I mean, the whole thing is, and you know, I don't want to be a music teacher or anything like that, but theory mm -hmm. is is one thing, but feel. Right, right. You got to feel Because yeah. you could everything. play by ear yeah. and have a zero knowledge, ten times the talent as somebody who's been schooled. Yep. Yeah. Because you see it all the time. They, they're I'm not schooled. They constantly. <laughs> 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 uh, a real uh, uh, total schooled new boy fucking bass player in this band would not work. Yeah. yeah. Because they're going to try to fit their puzzle pieces into our picture and it's just You're not right. going to happen. Huh. It you is have to feel, feel yeah. the music. That's so cool. And, and he has a feel for it. You know what I mean? But something as intricate as metal, it's crazy to have the feel yet still be able to lock in, guys. I mean, yes. we're talking like, you know, 32nd beats, 16th beats. It's, uh, do you. Do you guys focus on getting tight too, or is it just writing parts? Um, or is that natural? Are you guys I, I just locked in anyway? I think it's natural. At first, um, uh, in a previous band I was in, we had two guitar players, and I think that it was it was nice coming in saying, "Okay, I'm just going to be that thing on the top." Yeah. And based off of what Dave is doing on the drums, I just need to kind of fill in and know when to stay in the pocket. Yeah. Huh. Which not a lot of guitar players know how to do, right? No, they, it's they, a they, they want to yeah, be the, they they be be the showman, right? Mm -hmm. But I need to know when to sit back. And a lot of times, even when we gig, I'll turn around and I'll look at Dave just to make sure that I'm connected with him. And now I do the same thing with like Chris. That's like uh, uh, we, we that, introduce myself. I'm Dave Lee Drums. <laughs> 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 oh, there you go. And accordion. You see, but that's something you don't get with technology. I mean, you have to be together to be able to have that. It's not something you can email back and forth to each other That's parts very true so yeah. it's just you know it's great to see the benefits to really still being in a band yeah. would you guys you know would you do you guys recommend this to any musician coming in or do you tell them you know what pick something else other than metal the, the metal heads are very dedicated yeah. very. right you know, if you veer off the yeah. path you're yeah. just written off uh -huh. yeah. yeah but when it comes down to it in, in regards to music and personally I think that what you're passionate about is going to show whether it be music, whether it be metal, yeah. thrash, or, yeah. or gospel, Absolutely. or funk, or our top forty, or or that whatever pop groove you want. But as long as it's coming and it's through you and it's genuine, truthfully, yeah. exactly, it's yeah. genuine, People and you're that. feeling it. Yeah. And that's what it comes down to is feel. Because yeah. if you can't feel your own music because you're just playing off of a sheet, yeah. or you're playing so true, rich, yeah. really r rigid. And just right structured exactly yeah. yeah. sixteen yeah. bars, dude. Let's and, do it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was in a I was in like a red hot chili type, uh, red hot chili pepper type of band. It was it was a funk. It was all original. Yeah, and the guys always got after me because I just play too loud. <laughs> what? Like, I play metal. Yeah. <laughs> right. So There's I'm something wrong like, with I'm you, with sir. This. I'm going back to metal. So I, I tried going branching out, yeah. which I could do, but I, obviously I just. Hit well, how did it head. start? How did this start? It started with a band called um, Augmented, mm -hmm. which was uh, something I had started back in 2010. And I had great play on words, by the way. And, I, and, yeah, and that's uh, way before Augmented Reality came in, right? I oh mean, yeah, that term. Yeah. yeah, it was way before yeah. that. And uh, I had a guitarist, and I was playing uh, second guitar, and I had a drummer. We were looking for a bass player because I was playing and singing. Um, guitarist lost his job and he was managing a sure. apartment building so he lost his home and the drummer <laughs> oh. ended up getting deported back to Canada. Oh my gosh! Oh, deported uh, to Canada? Deported to I haven't heard that much. Was that a span of a year or a span of a year? I can't Spanish. Spanish. Six months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but shortly after, a band that I was singing for prior to that, Eden, um, called me because they had the singer who had replaced me um, got into a really bad motorcycle accident, Terrible. so I started playing with them. I did some shows, yeah. and then um, uh, we got in invited to um, 
Germany to uh, release an EP that I recorded with them. Nice. Um, and cool. before that, we were doing a send-off show, and my buddy from Downheaval, another local band, said, hey, you know, our bass player quit, and uh, can you fill in? And I'm like, uh, well, send me the music, because I only had six weeks. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I heard it, and I'm like, yeah, I can fill in. Yeah. So I learned the songs, <laughs> went and did it. Dave was the original drummer from Downheaval. Oh, okay. so that's how you connected. So that's how we connected. And then being a bass player with the drummer, you guys just lock in. Yeah. yeah. Naturally. Yeah. And so that's how all the stuff that had previously been written that, and the augmented stuff. Yeah. We well, how soon did you guys start talking about this new project? Because you're in another project, mm -hmm. then you're talking about another project. It was actually Downheaval slash Augmented. We were doing... Oh, uh, slash. Yeah, we were doing yeah. uh, five downheaval songs and then like three or four of augmented, augmented songs, and, and yeah. a cover song you know? sweet so we were doing that for about what yeah. six months or more than that oh no a, a couple of years these oh, were live yeah. shows a couple of years so anyways yeah we did oh, live gosh. shows and and, open, and what one the first show i played with them we opened for malice it was where malice was it show at the house of metal mm -hmm. nice and so then um we just kept playing in that band but with chris I've been I've known Chris for over 13 14 yes. years. Oh yeah. Really? It took that long though. I, <laughs> I, I mean I sing for Masters of Reality, the Black Sabbath tribute yeah. and he plays bass. Oh, sweet. And so yeah, he was yeah, yeah. in the All band right. way before I even okay. joined. So you knew his chops. Yeah. Yeah. And I it, you know went through the whole thing and we we got a guitarist, it worked out for a bit, we recorded some stuff. Like and then, uh, worked out for a bit meaning what? Like a year, two years uh, as well, you're currently Almost playing. Four years. You're currently because playing we Saturday. needed a guitarist for Downheaval because later on the guitarist left. And so the guitarist who was playing in Eden says, Hey, man, fuck, call me, call me. I'll do something with you. All right, well, we're doing this. So he joined that. And then Downheaval Augmented kind of split up because it's just too much. And I really wanted to pursue the augmented stuff. Right, separate and, uh, the two. Yeah, so it yeah. became a three piece. And I was playing bass huh. and singing. Fellow bass player. I love him. And, <laughs> and he was killing it, too. So yeah? Some yeah. killer bass so It's not like easy, that. man. Yeah, no. And and picking I'm, everything, huh? No. No, he's, no, he's all finger. No, he's, all, he's all finger. Oh, real <laughs> bass player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, you know, I, it was, you know, from guitar to bass, I was like, man, I really need to look up some bass stuff. Yeah. So I Googled, uh, you yeah. know, YouTube. Oh, Billy yeah. That's amazing. Great resource. It really oh, is. my God. Right. Billy Sheehan from the beginner tutorial to the advanced. He took all that. What? That's amazing. Yeah. And you know, you sit Listen, in front of YouTube. Can we you hear you play bass level? at some point today? Well, I'm getting to that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Wait, wait just wait. Player. The pot thickens. <laughs> Hold so, on. So, um, right, the guitars that we had, uh, you know, just he had too many personal things that he needed to take care of, so he had to leave and yeah, we invited them to. Yeah, life is And um, it just happened that when, during this um, augmented thing, Eden uh, had um, released a compilation, including the EP that I recorded with them. So they wanted to do some shows with that. And Jay was in August Redmond, which was what Eden was prior to being Eden. Wow. And after we came back from Germany, they started, August Redmond recruited him to play. Of course. And because August Redmond is basically Eden, we got together and we were playing, and I look at Jay, you know, and I'm thinking, man, you're shredding. I said, you know what? If I ever need a guitar, so I'm going to give you a call. Absolutely. And he goes, bring it. And so I called him, when are the guitars, and we started <laughs> doing that. And then... But then how did that start? So so, so did he bring any of his material to you? Did, did you guys join for or did you decide, you know what? Everything else, yeah. everything from now right. is ours. He just the, the, asked yeah. what we had, and, I, and within two weeks of joining the band, he had two rehearsals, yeah. and we played a show. Yeah. What? Technically, what? Technically, yeah. Technically, I was supposed to be just a just a fill in. Yeah. Okay. Just a fill in until like. So was Brady guess, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you were the rebound. Yes. You, you were the rebound <laughs> guitar player. Yeah, I was. I was, and I was cool with it. Yeah, I was cool with it. <laughs> we're on the same page. Hey, hey, man. Just use me in the, in the our guitarist yeah. <laughs> was having personal stuff, and I said, you know what? Just take some time. Take care of your stuff. I, I got somebody to fill in for this show. Yeah. Yeah, and then so Augie sends me an email says, "Hey, would you like to fill in?" And I said, "Sure." When's the show? He says, two weeks." <laughs> and I said, "Sure, just send me send nice. send me whatever it is that you have." Sure. And yeah. we practiced. We rehearsed Jump that week. It. We had what six, seven songs down for okay, the first after, week. After wow. three days, after three days of me sending him the music, he shows up and he has six of the songs. 
That's, that's amazing. The, the following <laughs> week, he has all seven. What? And then the following week, we play the show. Yeah. That's amazing. Ama- man. Yeah, absolutely. Do you do you love the music? I love the music. Yeah, yeah. and that's one of the things that I that I told Augie. Um, and then you know, um, when I recorded with uh, August Redmoon. Um, we got lucky in all kind of different ways. Um, yeah. Johnny knows of Bob Nobani. Johnny in the house. Yeah, Johnny. Johnny. In the house. Johnny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he offered Johnny. me a shot of tequila just not uh, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. <laughs> so you guys have an official like booze guy? He shows up. And, and just, You're like, right. Just, uh, Hans and I were in the kitchen. He just offered us tequila. Like, yeah, hell yeah. yeah, let's do this. We don't say but no. I would love to pay respects, though, because Rather, I, I did absolutely. see your shirt. Can we talk about Larry uh, Malero? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. He was uh, a guitar tech for uh, uh, the legendary Rick Nielsen, you know, Cheap Trick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, newcomers cool. out there who don't know who he is. And uh, he played at one of my benefits last year That's in right. April. Yeah. He's one of those guys, uh, I call him the gentle giant, you know. The great guy, he had a big heart, you yeah. know, a great soul and everything. And just for him to show up and other, a lot of the other talented uh, musicians there, it was just great. I mean, if that big, like a big weight was lifted off my shoulders. Wow, it's a big uh, testament to you. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, the man had a big heart. Yeah. So do you. We could tell that. Yeah, he's a good guy. Johnny Mata, man. Johnny, thank you, man. But I can see you have a lot of people involved in your business. So who else is involved in the big picture? Is it really just you guys, or do you have helping hands? I mean, like social media, website. Is there anyone holding an iPad filming this whole thing? Oh, yeah. So so let me tell you the story of Ken, who's behind the camera right now. Ken was Ken filled in uh, for the bass player. There's Ken. Uh, He's a bass player? Yeah, when we were in August Red Moon. So many bass players in this room. It's so cool. So bass player of a usual Dragon Radio. Four bass players. Yeah. So it was, it was awesome that, that, you know, Ken then just, you know, we all became like a little family, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, but then when the the Eden stuff came out and I was joining Eden, we had some some challenges. Um, <laughs> like what? With, like, like, like <laughs> uh, there was uh, the other guitar player, Lenny, who's an awesome guitar player. So awesome that he showed up to one, one rehearsal. rehearsal. <laughs> That's, That's all he did. That's awesome. And yeah. then he went, okay, you know, just tell me when the show is. history in the original Eden. Yeah, and we're not part of that. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're the after. Oh, yeah. gotcha. After yeah, bird. next what? wave. Yeah. yeah, and so Lenny goes, "I'll see you guys at the show," and, and we thought, you know, oh, yeah. and then the next rehearsal we have with Eden. Yeah, he's it's not just, there, right? <gasps> and Jay looks at me, and goes, "Uh oh, is Lenny coming?" I, I said, I, "No, he'll be at the show though." Yeah, <laughs> and he then doesn't he's need- like. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but Lenny is a great guitarist. He's always how did it go though? Mark? Because you have went to rehearse great. with him too, not just him rehearse with. That's you true. Yeah. 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 Well, great. the crazy thing it was it, it, it went Snoop. great, and that's when uh, after the rehearsal, no, no, no. Augie said you handled both parts like yeah. like you did. Like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, that's yeah. What you do. And then that's when he told me he's like, if I need a guitar player, I'm gonna yeah. call you because uh. I heard him <laughs> right. without a rhythm guitarist. That's underneath. so cool. Yeah. And he made it bigger. Yeah. You know, not overplaying, yeah. but some accents, some squeals. Perfect balance. Yeah. You know, some harmonics, yeah. and, and just enough to fill in that little void. And it sounded full. They're like, we didn't need another guitar. Say, hey, Lenny, stay home. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, man. Just, just kidding, man. It's I think that's the thing that's overlooked for metal that a lot of non metal heads don't appreciate about your genre is that it's so intricate it it's is. so purposeful because if it's not it's loose like yep. an indie band could just be loose and it's just mm-hmm. called you know hey man that's creativity it could be a mess you guys yeah every beat mm-hmm. counts right. yes. yeah. it's like an orchestra this. it really is so you're, you're cool absolutely you guys, right yeah. you're right yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's how it was like with what I really liked about Red Moon and it, you know we had uh, at 1.3 guitar players uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know Luke. Cool, Luke man. We're all, man. Yeah. Let's Luke call man was in the band. Yeah, yeah, he's an <laughs> amazing guitar oh, player. Amazing, and he learned how to play starting from YouTube. Wow. So, but he's amazing. It's possible, you, man. You got to get his it band is. in here at some point because yeah. they're amazing. Okay, cool. But um, but Wait, what, what's their band name again? Just Real make sure. Uh, Railgun. Ro- oh, Railgun. Railgun. Cool yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but what I loved about Augie is when when he first started talking to me about joining is he's like um. You know, come in, get a get your own feel, and do your thing. Yeah, just do your thing. I'm not yeah. going to tell you what to do. Just keep it in in context. Of well, what he we're trusted doing. you. Yeah, yeah. it took yeah. something for him to say that, right? Yeah. right. It wasn't blind. Exactly. There, there was a trigger. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I had written a lot. Of, uh, I wrote all those mm-hmm. songs lyrically, lyrically, guitar, mm-hmm. melody, rhythmically, yeah, bass. Oh, yeah, that's um, wow. So I, I think on the original CD that I have. 
I'm playing lead he guitar. He played and everything. Bass, <laughs> bass, <laughs> guitar, Man. Yeah. Oh, and I love that your name is in the name because that makes sense. I know. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's it, just yeah. funny <laughs> because it really was. But it's a part of the name, which is also symbolic. You're Very symbolic. only the I, first I, syllable. Everything else is everybody else. That's right. Augmented. Augmented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, that's right. so right. stupid, man. Right. Let's You're get like, the, no, I'll, get the I'll give up the other syllable, but I get the first syllable, people. But uh, yeah, my, my my philosophy is it doesn't matter that I wrote the music. It's how um, the pieces are going to fall in place. The, here's the road. Here's the skeleton. Yeah. yeah. You put your right. muscle there. You put your muscle there. You're right. You can't That's, walk up to an open mic and play your song by yourself. You need mm, your yeah. people. Yeah, the support. Here's, and here's it's the, everyone, right? Here's so the, the whole basics. Picture. Yeah. Go. Listen to what it was, you know, how it was written, how it was performed. Right, the essence. But then put, as you, a guitarist, what yeah. would you do? Yeah. As you, as a bass player, what yeah. would you do? As you, as a drummer, what would you do? And, and it morphs. Mm -hmm. It grows. It's so beautiful. It it's amazing. Is, becomes augmented. Yes. So cool. Yes. Oh, yes. So so take cool. that. Pa That's the golden moment. <laughs> Man, we have to take that clip and we have to actually, uh, like, just take that clip and post the shit out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because there's so much deep wisdom in that. And then yeah, not sure. just about the when music, it was just a, the, when it was just the three. That's actually how the name came about. Mm -hmm. I wanted to augment the music. Yeah. And me and my buddy were really, you know, Do you we were in a higher state of <laughs> mental capacity. <laughs> and this and, is more and of a we question looked for at each too. other, and I said, "I want to augment the music." Man. <laughs> and we looked at each other and went, "Augment it!" Ah! Yeah. And then I got this fucking horns on the fucking A and the D, and, and Dude, I was the like, logo yeah. Is yeah, the logo. Yeah. Tell us about that's the logo. So. Did you, well, make Did you direct somebody to do it? We had an idea. Well, what happened was we, the three of us, were playing a show, and I had some, uh, I had bronchitis, and whatever happened, you know, in my body, I got the Z pack, got that, it attacked the C six nerve, so I can't lift this arm. You're kidding me. So really? I, That's I, why. Well, I can't play bass. Man, I just got so, goosebumps, man. So I can't no, play bass. Our guitar breaks my heart, man. In the middle of a show. In the middle of a show. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I just want to hug you. Yeah. I just, I just kept that. There's actual hugging going on. People thought it was like really cool because, like, all of a sudden my fingers locked on the fretboard. And I'm That's like, crazy. And I'm trying to, I'm singing. I'm a son of a bitch. So I take this hand and I like slide it to the. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then I'm, were you and there? Now I'm going. I was there. I yeah, was we were three of us playing the show. Did you guys know something had gone wrong or was no, just kind of like. I, was, I mean, I'm the background, so I didn't. Right. Yeah. I, didn't I, I thought he was drunk. Jay kept looking, <laughs> Jay kept Is he looking usually drunk? at me going, <laughs> are you sure? And I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Shit. So, you know, Shit. some of the songs I actually just tapped the notes. Right. And uh, again, Billy Sheehan tutorials helped me through this you know and then when i had a note and i needed to slide my fingers i would just slide it with this hand wow and got Dude, through the last genius. three yeah, songs seriously, you're a genius and then i was like true shortly after i true said professional he knows how to get you're right, right exactly at all. Uh, yeah. said, we need a bass player and then dave actually goes you know, well, you know, why don't we see what happens? I said, no, no, we need to find the bass player. <laughs> but how did that feel, man? I mean, that choice, must have been yeah. crushing for you because as a musician, your left hand goes out. That's crushing. Man, he's, a, he's a lead singer now. He's happy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. But dude, I had no idea. It's, it's like full fucking circle, man. Fuck. Back in high school, I started off as a singer and then just kind of started playing guitar. I started doing other things. And now here I am, you know, now going, ah, fuck. Well, that's all right. I'll um, embrace being a lead vocalist. So to find out what exactly happened, was it, is it a tendon? Like It's a C6 nerve, which comes out of the, it's from the brachial plexus, this area meaty where, where the bone, there's no bone. It's your ribs here and your shoulders here. Okay. And the brachial plexus is the uh, conduit of nerves that run through here. Uh -huh. And okay. they control, you know, your shoulder, your eye. There's all these muscles and tendons that work together. So yeah. just to, to make a, a muscle in your bicep, just a curl your arm you have all these this nerve says yeah. you do this you do this you right. do this you do this yeah, yeah and yeah. that nerve just went <gasps> that's good. how does it do that how does it do is it like a blockage like do you no it what happened was um i had um bronchitis and the extreme coughing was hammering the brachial plexus which wow. bruised and caused information right. and so i got a z-pack to clear up the bronchitis the z-pack boosted my immune system yep. which attacked the 
the most um, uh, irritated or inflamed area, inflamed yeah. area, inflamed area, yeah. and it which is of course you're playing C six yeah. nerve, <sighs> which controls. Oh my god! This stuff. The cascade yeah. of everything. Yeah. But are you relieved that you don't have to worry about b- playing bass anymore? Or do you miss it? <laughs> Emo really he okay, hold on. Emo is a bass player. He hates he hates the yeah. bass. I don't get it. It's, it's, it's been like, a part of it. I love it. Every, every and I hate it. I think, I think it's it coming is, out he really loves oh it. Yeah. Yeah. He's been a part of every interview. I mean, that's why he loves it too. Self hating bass player. He doesn't want Augie to walk away from five years of playing a string of instruments and just going from you know, 150 to zero. You know? <laughs> right. I mean, you know, it's like instant retirement. Devastating, right? Yeah. Absolutely. But then I'm like, wow, my vocals are getting really fucking good now. <laughs> <laughs> and, so I'm, more. Yeah, so, and so I'm, and so now, you know, I got a mic stand and, and you got the presence now. He doesn't oh, have yeah. to bring. Yeah, you got the mic. Like, his bass. Yeah. Goes, okay, yeah, so you're I got my, I got that my way. backpack well, and I got my mic stand. You know, I'm like. I'm set up. That's all you got. That's all you need. What's up, man? Why you get? He's out there and he goes. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> <He's on radio. laughs> <laughs> we're streaming it. Good get, job, Ernest, man, getting that view. I get, no, I, I don't I get, know if I you guys to the mic and I go. <laughs> <laughs> You're genius. I would have never seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me yeah. neither. Most people I, miss I did it. not see yeah. it. Most people completely miss you know it. Does he reveal it? Like, how do you reveal it to your fans, or do they even know? No, a lot of them know. Yeah. A lot of them know, but a lot of them, yeah, a lot of them know, but that that are they, close it, friends of the band, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, at the yeah. same time, that was happening. We had a, a, another band uh, augmented. They yeah. contacted us saying that we can't use that name anymore. Huh. And uh, so that's why we had to come up with a different. They name. had the LLC and all this other. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Legally, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. Like, all right. And so, so this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was coming up with different names. Like, no, it's got to be augmented. So yeah, I went home and I started writing augmented metal. <laughs> everything. Augmented everything. And then had this big old long list. And I went, <laughs> but this is the drummer who <laughs> I mean, yeah. do shit for yeah. any other band. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They're lucky to have you. So why'd like, you right? land on that one? Because like, it was a domain name. Chaos. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, so why would you land on that one? Yeah, was it? I had a bunch of you know. Was I it had bike chat? Oh, he had like it? fucking thirty or something. Okay. Augmented yeah. bicycle. Augmented curtains. Augmented curtains. What was in second or third place? Do you, do you <laughs> remember the other candidates? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't man. even remember what was no. second place. It, it, there was no second place. It was yeah. it. Once yeah. you know, as soon as you heard it. Yeah. 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 And then he goes, you know, like the A with a, like a pentagram or something crazy. Yeah. And I went, <laughs> showed it to him. He's like, yeah, like that. And I sent it to an artist friend of ours. Wow. Yeah. And he goes, oh, yeah. And he sent it back to us. And I showed it to the guys. And they're like, <laughs> do you guys have like a common messaging group is it like Facebook is yeah it like WhatsApp Facebook. Facebook's Facebook. your com like that's yeah. your group messaging like between you guys that's how you guys connect oh yeah yeah, yeah. you guys and rehearse like we have a, most part, or once we a week text. Text. we have a yeah. text group that okay. we're out yeah. when rehearsal's gonna be who can be sweet and then who's in charge of the social media uh all of you, I, pretty I much all of us. Yeah. I love the, like, there's so <laughs> many shrugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sweet as man, man, it's the worst. It is, I came you know, up with the name God damn it, I work all day. <laughs> you, know, you know, but I, I'll say the this: we, we've been really lucky. Um, um, the, the common person that that Augie and myself and Johnny know is yeah. a guy named Bob Nelbandian. Okay, um, yeah. he put out some Armenian. Um, he must be. Uh, yeah, <laughs> must be. He, um, I, 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 he put, oh, by the way, the original. Eden manager from the 80s. Really? Yeah. Wait a minute. You kind of look Armenian. You look like you look like Surge from System of a Down. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I've never Trust noticed me. that yes. right Gio. now. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. 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 Never noticed That's the first that time I've heard that. Yeah. You're not Armenian? No, nah, man. Holy <laughs> shit! Pretty little children! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spanish. <laughs> You, I mean, that is a compliment, man. I fucking love Surge. Yeah, yeah. but that, that, wait up. We, we knew, <laughs> oh, we knew Bob. Surge just showed up. Um, and I think we were really lucky in that that you know 
we got some publicity as Red Moon and then a little bit of publicity as as Eden. And then things started just kind of like like snowballing. We got really lucky in that, you know, people actually wanted to see the former singer of Eden at one Sick. point. Um, the guitar player from August Red Moon play with Augment It and then Augment It Chaos. So there was a market for yeah. him. And we, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. We because were actually, you know, he, he, Augmented, he's awesome, yeah. <laughs> Augmented was actually included in Bob's um, video. Vide his, video. Uh, Yes. Documentary. He did uh, uh, like three or four documentaries. Heavy metal. Um, yeah. Um, uh, inside L.A. Metal. Yeah. Wow. Where he inside talks to everybody who came up through the metal Heart, scene in the '80s, yeah. and, and he knew everybody. Hmm. So he's he's he put um, August Red Moon music. He put Eden music in his documentary, oh my which God. is amazing oh. to go to Hollywood and walk the red carpet and yeah. say, yeah. "Oh, that's my fucking guitar." Yeah, oh, that's yeah. amazing. Guy. Yeah, yeah. You're basically a legend. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, <laughs> and, then we got, and then we got really lucky <laughs> no. because you know, um, you know, uh, we started getting you know people from obviously you know August Red Moon, um, the, any of those fans started listening to this music, and then just by such a cool name by the way, and, August and I Red Moon. And I have to, really I have is. to tell you, this is this is the 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 bit where it's the right place in the right time. Yeah. We weren't playing at the House of Metal, but we were going to watch some bands play, and what happened was. There was a guy named Jeff Heitman from yeah. Viper Guitars. Okay. He, uh, he he's the um, the maker and and I guess owner. the co-owner of it. He's the wow. owner yeah. maker luthier. Yeah, right. luthier. Yeah. yeah. So dude. he had his guitar set up there, and Dave and I were sitting out in back. We we're just sitting chilling, and Dave was Dave was a little plastered, but he kept bugging me. Jay, go pick up one of those guitars. Go pick up the guitar. And then and I come out. Go and I'm like. like Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. It so, <laughs> so, I knew Ronnie. So here's from, the thing, yeah. From way back. I'm oh, like, so, hey, so Ronnie, Ronnie North's oh. guitar player was there, and, and his guitar was there. But this is right place, right time. So Dave and I walk over. I sit down. I start picking up guitar, start playing some stuff. And just because I'm an old metal fan, old metal fan, I started playing like Diary of a Madman and shit, right? So anyways, we're sitting there, and some guy comes up behind me, puts his hand in me, he goes, I feel like my brother's here right now. It was oh, fucking shit. Randy Rhodes' brother, oh, Kelly yeah. Rhodes. Oh, wow. Came God. And was the like, impact, yeah, And I was like, I took a picture with them and everything, and then from that... Do you have that you can share with us? Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have the picture. Um, so Jeff, um, he was friends with Jeff. So that's when Jeff was like, Hey, let, let's work together. I'll build you a guitar. That's the custom guitar that I have. Oh, that's that's cool. that he did yeah. Viper JPM. Yeah. 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 So I got lucky in the fact that, you know, with Jeff and then all the other players that he's slowly getting now, yeah. I get part of like his marketing and, and but he's made an amazing guitar. It's and the so thing cool. is, he, he says, you know, what do you want? You know, we can make it really hot. I said, I want an 80s sounding guitar. Yeah. <laughs> I want a metal sounding guitar. Yeah. I don't want, you know, like the yeah. over like yeah. overactive yeah. pickups and uh -uh. shit. Uh -uh. I love the 80s metal metal sound and that's, that's what about what it do you sound. love i love the the demarzio pickups that yeah. it's like all mid-range yeah and then i'll just use my pedal board if i need something more right. but i just love just that that crunch yeah that that old metal crunch and that's you guys' sound yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, and at first i thought augie's not gonna like that sound like right. augie's gonna want something more <laughs> aggressive Especially he actually plays guitar so yeah that shit. yeah but he was like totally not no just do you yeah. like and i think that yeah. kind of changed the music a little bit yeah. But it made it just a little bit bigger. So I was, right. I've been I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying. I've been really blessed. <laughs> yeah. You guys are teasing me too hard. Is it, yeah, is it time? I, yeah, I need to hear it. Yeah. 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 I, need to, I need to hear it. It's hear always it. this is like the foreplay. Like we just hear all the like, <laughs> It's oh, it is foreplay. <laughs> it's absolutely foreplay. So now during the augmented, he gets endorsed by Viper Guitars. We keep oh playing, this happens, and then you know, we go through a few people trying to come in and they didn't quite work out. And then I'm I'm in a band with this fucker, yeah. Masters Reality, and he goes yeah. for ten years um, prior. Yeah. And he goes, Why don't you just give me the music? And I went Bing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait a I'm minute. Like, well, it's online. <laughs> you know? And I just, I just told him it's online. And, yeah. you know, he, he just learned he it. He went in and again, like, just like Jay, what is it, two weeks? Eight Yeah, it was about two weeks. Eight, wow. six. Like you six, said, because it comes six, 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 How many tracks? They feel it. Six to eight songs. Oh, my in, God. In two Amazing. weeks. That's a and then, um, incredible. Match. And then we solidified it within the next couple of weeks, you know, where we tightened up those three songs that, you know, well, it's a testament to their respect for you. I mean, you've done so much, and yeah. you obviously have built-in fan base. So the fact that they're behind you, I mean, you know, it, it feels great. Yeah, you know, it feels great. And too. it seems like you're, you know, like you don't take it for granted. Like you actually are doing 
as good for them as they are by you. Yeah, I try. Yeah. Well, and, and there's, we, uh, there's, yeah, there's not we, a lot. Uh, man, uh, like, can we just hear it? Find, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, we Shows. should probably we talk touch about on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 on that, on, when we yeah. come back, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have right. some stuff coming up. Absolutely. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. But yeah, let's move let's on. Let's play. Perfect. Sweet. Yeah, let's do some shots, man. Wake up. Seriously, wake up, man. We're doing this now. If you're watching us, that means you're having your coffee or your your morning wake and bake. Maybe some bacon. We're augmented chaos. And this is a song called Realm of the Tyrant.
So uh, we're gonna take it down a notch for you guys. <laughs> that's that's but that's <laughs> that's not much for us. So this is a song called The Witchy Hour. <laughs>
Fucking joker, ain't ain't that old? I'm just 21 in my head. Hey, we got some friends coming down with the Kager man after this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were hoping for that. So. That's why we did all of this, man. We need a rager. <laughs> Hello, some Mike, of you Mike friends Kager. out there, if yeah. you hear this, man, get a Kager and come down. Woo! We're ready. What a show! Oh my God! What and energy. that was a show. That was amazing. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You guys are, are absolutely phenomenal. That was... Yeah. Hey, I thought it was going to be fucking Everything. cold in here, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Just that was, incredible. That was... Uh, yeah. I mean, what, like, what was the highlight? I mean, for 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 me, it was Augie. Yeah. But there's so many other highlights, too. How you guys coordinate your riffs. How you guys are always looking at Dave. Yes, I yeah. noticed that. You yeah. are the lead drummer. <laughs> yeah, he, he totally I is. Lead, <laughs> lead, lead drummer. Lead, lead drummer. I said, hey, Dave, my arm no longer works. <laughs> you're now my arm. You're going to have to take, take over. You're my left arm. <laughs> you're, not, you're not my right arm. You're not my right hand. I'm going to have you this. And I say, on this day of your daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are any of you guys Howard Stern fans? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I knew it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what, I, what, I, what I really hope comes comes through is that we all know when to stay in our pocket. We all know yeah. when to, yeah. like, it's a it's a bass thing, mm -hmm. it's a drum thing, mm -hmm. it's an Augie thing. Step back, let yeah. that, and then... Right, right. Yeah. come yeah. forward and then yeah, yeah it definitely it definitely felt like you guys knew like when to give each other space if that makes sense oh, like, yeah. everyone stood out you know you could hear everyone individually and there was no like there was no stepping on toes there was no one that would like took over the performance and that I it think was is a sum of parts like yeah, absolutely yeah. perfect yeah. absolutely and that's one of the one of the things that a lot of bands kind of when they're shopping for maybe they lost the guitars, lost the bass person, and that person may come in and they're so overzealous and they just want to show how fucking good they are. You know? yeah. Yeah. At this point of the game for us, I mean, where we're at, yeah. it's like, look, you wouldn't have shown up if you can't fucking play. Right. Right. And if you can't yeah. play, we're going to fucking let you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. And at that point, I mean, that's it's kind of like where right, we're at. It is at. about showboating. Yeah. It's about yeah. figuring out how to fit it's in. Like, you're doing right. that, you're doing that, you're doing yeah. that, and I'm yeah. doing this. Yeah. Right. You know? I mean, that's why I duck down and just kind of do my own So amazing. Thing. Your stage your lyrics, presence. Your, yeah, your stage yeah, presence. Right? Your lyrics are right? amazing. So, I mean, what influences did you read? Like, what books did you read? <laughs> to, to Believe it or not, I cannot read a chapter book without falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's too slow. Yeah. And it's not loud enough. I get right. it. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what kind of disability, you know. I mean, I never was, you know, but it was like, well, I, I start reading, I, it's like a really good story, you know. I'm like, son of a I mean, bitch. Like, you know, I'm like, too. are you the first I'm person like, to pass out I'm during like, a movie? No, right. fuck that, man. Movies. I was like, fuck, I'll just, I ain't reading the book. I'll just watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, okay, you know, fine. Get the best parts, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah. basically, you know, um, some of it, is life events, yeah, and some of it is just do uh, that over and over. Fictional that I felt mm -hmm. was a great story, a and yeah, because they are they're great stories. Yeah, and then there's some that's like historic, you know, human yeah. sacrifice, uh -huh. certain tribes, right? And stuff. The fun stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. That people don't that talk about. Right. It's right, very, right. Well, that's why I ask. It's very esoteric, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Mercedes cool. Sun is about yeah the cool early. One. Temple yeah. sacrifices mm -hmm. and how they would take the dead and right. bury them in catacombs, but not bury them. They would put them on shelves. Yeah. And because it was so damp and cool, 
the bodies would just mummify naturally. Wow. Amazing. Without any right, Egyptian without any treatment. type. Yeah. 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 Well, he wrote yeah. these songs like 10 years ago. Right. Now he's like 50. He's writing songs about lowering his hey, cholesterol. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's a topic. That is topic. Very, very, yeah, it is very popular. A lot of keyword searches. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good keyword on Rob Google. About <laughs> well, I've got, I got two big questions Amazing. for you guys. First of all, uh, where can we follow you guys on social media? Yeah. That would be on Facebook.com slash Augmented Chaos. Nice. Beautiful. You got it. Easier, you know, just so hungry. easy. You want to see us on Facebook? Put a slash at the end of it and yeah. type in Augmented okay. Chaos. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. You guys pretty good about interacting to, with fans That'll lead you to your Reverb Nation. That'll Beautiful. lead you to some cool. of the other. And we got our Twitter Instagram going Twitter. and we finally got our Instagram going. So oh, good. Those are the big ones. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Instagram is very important. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Being, you know, I I think we all consider this a whole new band. Okay. You know, from the Augmented thing that we were doing. This is a whole new band. Mm -hmm. So cool. Same songs, but such a different Rebirth. feel yeah. and just... Uh, Different monster, yeah. you know, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Well, yeah. we're Mister cool. Hyde. Must yeah. feel great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah. sure, absolutely. Any yeah. any new shows coming up? Yeah, actually, we're playing um, the February twenty second at the uh, uh, Sword Metal Fest. Okay, in uh, Santa Ana at Malone's. Beautiful, my love. So, yeah, so like, uh, yeah. Are you guys yeah, playing with Ex Mortis anytime soon? No, but we're we'd like to. Man. We'll link. We'll link you guys. With oh my god! Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you guys yeah, have I not done the show together. I, I saw yet? the the uh, when they came. Oh, the interview. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you guys would be perfect together. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah? Shit. oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Are they local? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're yeah. legends been, too, man. Like yeah, you guys. They've been around oh, for. It's like the perfect pairing. It is the perfect pairing. Is that our new thing? We're just like linking bands with other bands. I hey, man, like it's a community. That's no, what it's, we're doing. No, it's great. Like that's what we're trying to. We raise each other up. That's what we're trying to build because. What I'm leading into <laughs> is uh, there's a music fest coming up. That's right. Yeah. Oh really? And even even before the music fest, we Sorry. we yep. do we are under construction for the OC. Was it OC Music Scene? Dot com. Yeah. We're gonna get all you guys' schedules, put it all nice. in one place, so people that love local live music know where to go to find out when you guys are playing. Yeah. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. And Dave, uh, yeah. next week we are actually going into the studio recording our first augmented. Camera. Yes. Ooh. Congratulations, <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Yeah, for sure. Which wow. Is, uh, which was in the works for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. are you guys recording it? Uh, what studio? San Pedro. What studio is it called? You know the studio. Are you guys based out of San Pedro? No. No. How'd you guys oh. pick that one? We got uh, lucky through some contacts. Yeah. The, way, a, uh, the way things happen yeah. with social media and everything like that um, uh, on Facebook, you know, not only thank God for Bob Nelbandian, yeah. but um, there's another guy, um, Wes, we call him Moose. Yeah. Um, I got in contact with him. I had known him um, through the August Red Moon days. And I contacted him and he says, hey, you know, uh, I'd really like to help promote you guys. Yeah. Uh, three days later, he says, hey, call these guys in Germany. They, they Latvia, they they want so to sign Latvia. you guys. Oh my God! Yeah, and they had one track, and based off the one track, they said, "We let's do this. We, let's That's do this." Nice. And, so now we got to get in the and, studio. And, and, and without, without hearing anything from us yeah. prior, just watching us. Yeah, they're like uh, Randy Ulrich, uh, producer. With you know, he's a independent and uh, he's in love. Hey, he's like, I want these dudes. Yeah, I, I need to get you guys in the studio. Yeah, but they tells me. You need to lose the bass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did. He did. told you that? Even before. before Haunt, yeah, even before this. Even before he goes, that happened. Wow. So not when I was in I, the band. Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, he wouldn't yeah, have he goes, I see. I see a great vocalist being tied down by with bass. another instrument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens I, a lot. I think you need to really just get out there. Shine. Focus on that. Because not only are you a great vocalist, but. Showman. You, yeah. He goes. Your your stage presence and, and it's I could hear. And he goes. Yeah. I could hear <laughs> exactly. You know. Where Don't even you notice. Go yeah. And why you're not going to those certain notes? Yeah. Because you're playing. Because you, as a bass player, you know that you have a certain breathing when you're hitting certain scales and stuff. So to try to coordinate the breathing of actually playing, it's a juggling act. Yeah. And then singing yep. over some of that shit. You know, how to you, of, man. The type of music that he's written for right. the bass. It is in a standard bass line. Yeah, oh, it, no, it's, it's sure. not single root notes. No. And, and I'm playing country music. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's riffs. Oh, it's okay. actual riffs oh, over yeah. his vocal riffs. Yeah. <laughs> And you can tell a big difference going back when we're a three-piece band. I'd, I'd watch some of the stuff people post on YouTube, 
and uh, and now I just like wow. He's the collector. He's a different singer. It's like yeah. a whole wow. You know, Dave's the collector. I mean, we go to his pad, and he has like the man cave, the pool table, Sweet. screen. In the <laughs> what garage, are we going over? Fridge yeah. full. Yeah. 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 Fridge full of there. fucking. <laughs> you know the cell phone is like YouTube, and I, dude, you got every video. Like, we're gonna go back and we'll look at this. It's like fucking the coach going, look at the games. <laughs> yeah. Look what you did. See that? You know, but but it's great yeah. because. He's he he's kind of like the historian of the band. Yeah, he could and the he's, coach. He's got yeah. one. Oh, cool. He's got coach. one of the first videos that we've ever from when we first played. Wow. So have and you guys so posted cool. that? Have you posted it on any sort of? Oh, I mean, yeah, come on, man! Sometimes the first one you really don't usually. Like, oh fuck! I hope nobody else has this. <laughs> Some of the stuff is like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. because it's someone on the, on their phone. Yeah, of yeah. course, but it's still yeah, like the, it's a great <laughs> contrast to where you guys are now. Right, yeah. exactly. I don't want to cheat anybody. I mean. Like I, you know, I would listen to your to, to some other bands. And I was like, okay, be the greatest this band. Good. It's a good. But recording. you know what? Yeah. Versus someone on their phone, yeah. filming you, and it's it's a like, totally different Sonic. Like, yeah. Because you, that that trigger of 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 pain, dislike, mm-hmm. bad taste. You taste something. It's like, yeah. right. Yeah. Like your brain says no. So we post something that sounds like shit. No matter how great we're playing. Uh, oh no. That triggers. Yeah, they see that. Yeah. It's so, like, subconsciously, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't it's going to be there. So that's Absolutely. kind of like our thing where we go, yeah, yeah it kind of sucks, but man, fuck, we we're ripping. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, but but that's what it is. I mean, that that first impression that that um, you don't want to leave a bad taste in anybody's. Mind. Well, yeah. I can assure you that our listeners uh, got a great experience today. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you brought everything. I mean, the crazy stories, how you guys work together, but more importantly, how you guys sound together. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, this is a this is a fantastic episode. We want to thank you guys, Augmented Chaos, for coming in one more time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Much. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Chaos! Woo! Woo! And, and thank you for the thank you to Johnny, the drink guy. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, yeah. our bartender. Johnny, Johnny. Mata, and Ken on video. <laughs> Wait for it, Ken. Right Ken, we got cheers. Yeah, yeah. cheers. Johnny, Woo! you. And thank you to Ken, who's been uh, videotaping this. Ken, the yeah. bass player. Yeah, yeah, Ken, the bass player. <laughs> the, the most awesome beard in the room, by the That's way. A- yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Granite Radio and Records. We're so honored to have yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, so so awesome. much. Awesome. Really appreciate it. But it's genuine when we say that we would love to have you guys back so we can just kind of get updated and, and, and you know, kept a big breast uh, to, uh, to what you guys <laughs> I like me some big, big breasts. Big, big boobs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to have some big breasts <laughs> next time. Emo, what's going usually on. a breast. Do you want to talk, <laughs> you want to talk <laughs> Grand, Grand Radio Nights? Just, I would love to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, please, because I think it, it, it applies here. Part of what we do as as part of the scene and the community is we love pairing pairing bands up with each other so that it isn't just about tell your fans to show up, see your show, and then just leave. We want them to experience all the three bands and yeah. know that they're going to love all three. Right. People like certain genres. So granted Radio Nights, we're going to pair you guys up with bands that sound exactly like you guys. So their fans fall in love with you guys awesome. easily, and we build that sort of momentum on a continuous basis. Right. So that's what granted Radio Nights is. Very cool. And what is the next Grand Radio Nights? It's on the 28th of February, so the show might be out by then, but that's we'll at the see. Tiki Bar. Uh, it's more of a rock thing, but we are putting together a... Uh, yeah. A, yeah, so we have... It feels like, like every night's a different genre. It should be. Yeah, yeah it like, is. It is, it's going to be that way. Yeah, like, as we know, Red Hook was just aired just a few weeks ago, so they're more of like a bigger band sort of thing, so we're putting it a, together a night, but now with Ex Mortis... With augmented chaos, I mean, yeah. I could see a metal Definitely. show being formed. Perfect, like, very, yeah. Yeah. very. Yeah. Soon. I would absolutely yeah. love that. Yeah, cool. And then uh, Hazem, who's our sponsor today? But make sure you talk in your uh, your movie uh, Ooh. commercial voice. Oh, Ooh. that one. Uh, we're sponsored by the CBD Online Store dot com. Oh, I got CBD water. <laughs> that, <yeah. laughs> um, that's CBD dash online dash <laughs> store dot com. I love awesome. It. And after the oh. the passage of the 2018 Farm Bill, you know, CBD and hemp is now federally legal. Amazing. So God bless America. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Is coming yeah. next. You know, God bless America. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I got buy we, me a farm. Let I think all of us here want to give a big oh. shout out to, to Tito's Vodka for <laughs> yes, uh, the unof- have them. our unofficial sponsor. <laughs> yeah. They're They're be, they will sponsor they us will one sponsor day. Us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'll happen. We are keeping them in business with how much fucking vodka we drink in the studio, <laughs> especially today. Handle after yeah, handle after yeah. handle, right? So yeah. <laughs> 
That's and, and Tito's like, come to Granite Records. Look at our garbage can. It's just going to be <laughs> bottom of the top. It's you just empty. But Tito's pinch your nose. Of vodka. <laughs> empty. Yeah, and, and plus we can introduce you guys like Tito's vodka. Right. right. See, yeah. that's the voice you get <laughs> when you're a sponsor of this show. <laughs> you see, and then once you sponsor us, we don't have to shout your name 500 times anymore. You'd be like, guys, Even though I will. please chill out on Even the will. <laughs> Here's 500 I will, bucks. Tito's. Please stop I will shout your name, Tito's, from every mountaintop. Tito. <laughs> all right. Well, that's right. it for all of us Wait. here. Oh my! God. Ernest, I was oh, get, it's in my it's okay. in my thing. It's there, I trust that. It's I trust in my that. thing. I, I trust that. Jack in the Box tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's all. But that Jesus Jack tacos. <laughs> Sorry, I derailed you. Fuck, you fucked the whole thing up, Eli. Jack, well, Jack that's tacos. it for all of us here off. at Granite Radio at Granite Records. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and thank you so much for augmented chaos. Augmented chaos. chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Thank really you. Really appreciate you guys stopping nice. by. We're gonna give you. a big shout out to the man behind the scenes that puts us <laughs> puts us all together, Guy Babusek. Yes. Yeah, Guy. Yes. yes. And uh, you, of course, I want to give a shout out to Ernest Moore. Who? Um, thank you, Ernest. Yeah. Yeah. He's here. Yeah. He doesn't get. We don't let him talk on the on the show. <laughs> but well, uh, he talks sometimes. He does. Yeah. Uh, he's the guy. You know, he helps us set up. Make sure you guys sound great, and we really appreciate him for that. He's yeah. the silent yeah. majority. The yeah. silent majority. <laughs> Is that what we're he's going? The Harpo yeah. Marks of the group. You got yourself a new nickname, man. Harpo Marks of the group, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's it. We want to thank you guys again for coming yeah. in. <laughs> this is a great episode. I think, I think you're fucking dating the yourself, man. Booze, man. Booze, man. Booze, man. Booze, man. Booze, man. Booze, man.